that we hear. Oh. Hey. It's purpose, y'all. Today we celebrating purpose. See you at the table. Peace. The reason. shower yeah dude you're not awake until you take a cold shower oh my god listen I'm sitting up here I got my water I got my oil I got the last little bit of that ambrosia that private stock and we are going to toast our ancestors we are going to toast the day we are going to toast the creator. We're going to toast our children. Man, when you start dealing with these principles, man, on a daily basis, reminding yourself constantly. A, a joy ran over me this morning when I thought about purpose. And I, I, I'm looking stuff up and I'm doing research on a consistent basis. And I'm really feeling good about this Aguza Sapa challenge, man. The challenge. Take the challenge. If you don't do nothing but a month out of this year, take a take take time to review why you do things. Take time to review your principles, the principles that you live by on a consistent and regular basis. Remember, we jumpstart our body with water. shade to flow through our body. And we celebrate purpose today. Oh man. Uh, we gonna take a nice deep look at the board on, on purpose. As y'all saw <coughs> old man brother hot Tim is trying to get back in shape and y'all saw me struggling with the uh, kettlebell so I don't think we're going to do the kettlebell today um, we're going to go back into a few isometrics hold on Yeah. 
having some great shows. Uh, if you don't know, join us every Tuesday and Wednesday night when we do um, uh, Folk Tales for Grown Folks on Tuesday. And on Wednesday, we do uh, tribal quotes. And it was some powerful quotes this week um, that definitely could change your life. So go back and review. Review all the shows. I've been doing them for a while, so to keep you busy. I'm going to be releasing Freedom Within Limits. All right, get yourself a copy. Let's go through it. I'm working on it, man. Listen, how cool's by High Tim. And of course, we're going to pop open this through a couple of these today. And our movement, it ain't really exercise, movement type things. You know what I'm saying? To get the body awake. You know what I'm saying? Let's wake up our body. Let's. Let's do it on purpose today. So, the water is done. It's time for the toast. Excuse me, man. Jumping that off. Just enough. Just enough. Bottle need to be washed so we can go start our next brew. Alright? Uh, here's to the creator. We call on this energy that has made everything and made everything possible for us. We want this energy to be with us. And it is with us. It flows from within us and connects us to everything in the universe. So we toast the Creator. We move to our personal ancestors. We toast them. And as I constantly remind you, toast your ancestors. Because hell for African people is being forgotten. We don't want to forget those in our, in our bloodline. We don't want to forget those. We salute them. We salute everybody that contributed to making you the beautiful person that you are. Right? We toast them. We toast this present moment. We toast the Nia. We are in the day of purpose. So we toast it. And last but not least, we toast our children, our children's children unto infinity. Part of the reason that we are here, right? So, we toast and we say, I say, I say, I say. And we toast, and as we say in Giamme, 100 years. Now, with us being in the winter time, I tell you, wait to see how this next boot comes. It'll be ready a little bit before my birthday. So right now I'm getting the oil ready so that we can start our oil letting. Now, for those that don't know, I use coconut oil um, and I gargle it. I move it around in my mouth for about 20 minutes spit it out and what this does it pulls out the poison it cleans your mouth because the mouth has a lot of uh, uh, bacteria and um, sometimes unhealthy stuff just um, considering how you live so this gives us an opportunity to clean out our body early in the morning along with us taking our probiotics it helps activate the stuff. This cold shower helps get the blood flowing. So we're doing that. We're adding a lot of stuff. We're doing what um, is known on the internet as a lot of life hacks. I'm experimenting with different things. We're experimenting with different exercises, different stretches. Um, but we're doing certain consistent things. And the reason behind this is so that we can have the best life, right? So. Don't do small letting with me or just watch me do it and see the effects. Like I told you when I started this, I had some some mouth problems as far as uh, cavities and whatever. But ever since I've been doing this, my mouth hasn't bothered me at all. So this coconut oil is antibacterial. Um, 
it's real it ain't the best tasting stuff but it ain't the worst tasting stuff either also you can add some of this to your tea i add it to some of my ambrosia to drink because if you're on a warrior diet this gives your body a quick accessible dose of healthy fats right Get started. Let's do it. Mmm. Mmm. Let's build. Welcome to Giami Journey Radio. I am your host, Brother Hatim, and we'd like to thank you for checking us out. Be sure to subscribe and check out our podcast, Giami Journey, Folk Tales for Grown Folks, on Mile 3. Give yourself permission, Giami Warrior Training, Magic Hour, Society Truth, and Tribal Quotes. Also, Check out our playlist. We built them with wisdom, mining, and you in mind. So get the wisdom and welcome to this journey. And most importantly, remember to subscribe and support. Subscribe and support. And I pray that your day will be as beautiful as you are. Peace. We all have African names. And so many brothers and sisters have yet to progress to that level. They... They may not understand that uh, where they got their slave name from in the first place. Um, again, how important is it to embrace an African name? I'm a late arrival, I'm, I'm, I must confess. Perhaps your parents gave you an African name at birth. Is that not correct? Indeed. Now, how, how important, how difficult was that for you being raised in the African-American community with an African name when a lot of your friends are walking around with Harry's and Joe's and Susan's and everything. Uh, it's, okay, if you... I believe that the New African Panther is all about serious freedom, really reaching out for the embrace of serious freedom. If you truly want serious freedom and serious um, liberation, if you want to have self-determination, how can you do that with the name that, that somebody else gave you? You know what I'm saying? The name from a person who didn't even respect you. You know, so when my mother gave me Tupac, I felt as though um, she literally liberated me at birth, cut the ties off me at birth, and, and set me free. You know, set me on the path to righteousness. And uh, with Tupac growing up with that name, you know, when I was a kid, I did stupid stuff. You know, what's your name, Joe? I didn't want to be, I didn't want, I didn't want that bright star within me. You know, but now I embrace it because it gives you character. You know, every time I say, "What's my, what is your name, Tupac?" I have to say, "What does it mean?" You know what I'm saying? What, what, why is that there? And it's good. It gives me a chance to express myself and, and express what I'm about, what I'm gonna do. With a name like Joe, who cares what it means? You know what I'm saying? It, it means nothing. Yeah. Joe Schmo. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. It comes. It, it, what it does actually is liberate you and lets everybody know that you're breaking those chains that this, this this whole society has put on you when you came here. They gave you the wrong, they gave you, they gave you a wrong religion, the wrong name, wrong, you know, switched everything around and put you in a society. So basically, I think that I'm not trying to put anybody down if, if your name is Joe. I'm sorry. But, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, oh, wait, oh, wait, oh, wait. Or if it was Joe. Yeah, yeah. if it was Joe. But on the strength, it should shock you. It should make you feel depressed. And it should make you feel bad inside walking around with some other person's name. You need to drop that and liberate yourself and really pick your name up. Because they told you your name was stupid when you came here. That's a dumb sound, man. You know what I'm saying? And, and so that you all okay, can't Joe, Jay, you know. So pick it up. You know what I'm saying? It's about that time. It's about that time. It's not all about just having an African name, because I met this sister, you know, she said, my name is, you know, Jody, but I want a real, I want a, I want an African name, you know, because it's the end thing now to be part of, but don't just get an African name, get an African brain, you know what I'm saying, it's all about educating yourself first, you know, don't walk around with that name if you can't defend the ideals, and if you don't even know your culture, you know what I'm saying, so it's not all about just being, you know, Akinyeri or Tupac or Yaki Caesar, it's all about money or whatever, right. it's all about having the, having the brain to back up the name. And also, we could extend that to the wearing now of, of African, yeah, you know, and uh, a lot of brothers uh, don't even, my own son, and I can't even, you know, uh, 
yeah. throw stones without letting it come mm-hmm. home. He wanted one. I say, son, can you name me ten countries? He could. <laughs> so he didn't get one until he right. at least named me ten right. uh, out of the 26 right. that exist. So it's important, again, that we know and, and recognize who we are as Africans right. before we, again, can embrace that whole philosophy. But that's a good point, and... Uh, it's uh, well taken, uh, hopefully, by a lot of brothers and sisters out there who are still walking around with the slave master's name and for, refuse to give it up for one reason or another. And I guess that brings me to my whole point about throwing off the shackles of Americanism. Mr. Deity. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. <laughs> Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms. Give a new world a contusion. Humpy diggity, he down on heaven from the sun. Humpy diggity, he down I am the sum of none but one composed of six gods in the mix. Humpy diggity, he down on heaven from the sun. Humpy diggity, he down I am the sum of none but one composed of six gods in the mix. Heretics and some critics, they say we rank first. We're not the baddest of the bad nor the worst of the worst. We strive for some monument in harmony with the universe. The weather, we're unmovable like Mount Kilimanjaro. Africans will laugh again, so I say no sorrow. We are the people of the day before yesterday. We are the people of the day after tomorrow. I have a dream someday that our youth will be walking down the street, contemplating, nibbling on ginseng root. Giving hell to those who aren't hard for sure, but for show. For show. Pretending what you hadn't thought but said and didn't know. Claiming sex, throwing up gang signs, society's got you snared. What the hell is that sign language? For the- What's up? You know his purpose, man. This is the day of the week. We on purpose, yo. Alright, so. Got my points. Discussion. Pair of jeans. Got the gavel. We call this board meeting to order. Ah, welcome to Nia. Also, it's a day of rhythm. Right? Day of purpose. Right? And we go through this every week. We've been going, I've been consistent. Right? I'm trying to establish a rhythm. What is a rhythm? See, because the Hermetic Law is rhythm. The myotic principle that goes with the day is truth, justice, righteousness, reciprocity, balance, right? So we're trying to bring a rhythm and a balance and purpose to our lives, right? What is a rhythm? Rhythm is a strong, regular, repeated pattern, right? Of movement or sign. Every morning I'm getting up, doing this regular pattern for you, right? We pour into the ancestors, right? We're pouring to the creator, right? We're doing some exercises, we're moving. We're doing different little um, life hacks, like we're experimenting right now with some uh, um, isometrics. We're gonna be experimenting a little bit more with the kettlebell. We're gonna pull out the medicine ball. You know what I'm saying? I'm trying to establish a regular pattern with you, right? Where every day you're tuning in, and every day you're doing something for you, right? In Giame, we have this thing called the 224 self-help process, right? There's no help like self-help. What is the 224? 224, every 
every 24 hours, you have to spend at least two hours on working on yourself. I'm getting up, um, in most cases, early. I ain't gonna, you know, early, something that varies between 3.30 and 4.30 to get up during the five days of the week so that I could do this for you, right? Uh, and I'm spending time working on me. By working on me, you know, hopefully I'm working on you. I'm motivating you to work on you. So this brings, so we establish that rhythm, right? Moving, we're moving, we're drinking something healthy. We're starting off the day with a drink of water. You know what I'm saying? We're building towards something. We're building a rhythm, right? Because once you get a rhythm flowing in your life, every now and then that rhythm might get interrupted. But eventually, you'll be able to fall right back into the rhythm, right? The cold showers, all the stuff. We're building a rhythm that moves us towards our greatness. It awakens something up in us so that we can move forward and do some true building, all right? You know, um, a lot of people are like, well, but I tell you, know, because purpose, right? What is purpose? Purpose is reason. The reason that you do something, the reason that you exist, the reason that you was created, the reason, right? The ability to find your reason for existence makes it a lot easier for you on this journey to build towards a greater you, right? When you find your reason, right? It trumps everything and it brings everything in line and in a sense brings everything into rhythm in your life and, and produces a balance so that you can live the best life. Many of us are not living life. Many of us are just surviving through somebody else's life. Well, what I want to empower you to do is to be able to live your life. Empower you to live your life. This is why I set up the Nguza Saba Challenge. And it wasn't necessarily for you. See, because y'all helping me. Those few people that every night, every day, that tunes in, whether they're listening to the, the podcast, which I do with this, right? Um, that watch the video, right? You're helping me. Why? You're holding me accountable. Because I have to come to you every morning. I have to come to you. I said, I'm going to do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I'm going to bring it. As long as there's one person watching. Hell, if nobody's watching, I'm going to bring it. Why? Because I got the time to do it. I have I have found my purpose, right? The purpose for me videotaping. Like, for example, the purpose for me videotaping me doing this every day is so that I can get my thoughts out. Right? So that I can remind myself on a consistent basis why I do what I do. Why do I go to the school every day and work with some kids that might not want to be worked with? Why do I consistently write? Why do I consistently podcast? Why? The reason, right? I was born to do this. I was born to, to, to talk. I was born to share. I was born to love, right? Now it might not bring it might not bring what, what some people believe is material wealth. But as far as the relationships that I have built by me doing what I do, it's incredible. I'm wealthy. You know what I'm saying? I'm wealthy. And once you fall into your purpose, once you start establishing your reason, once you start sharing your reason with the world, because this is what this is what's this is what's crazy. A lot of times some of us know what we was born to do, but we hide it from the world. And because we hide it from the world, we suffer. We suffer. You know what I'm saying? There's many of you out there that have something to say on video, but you won't say it. You know what I'm saying? There's many of y'all that have lessons to share, but you won't share it. There's many of you who, who are supposed to be at universities, but instead of going to the university, you drive by the university. There's many of you that are supposed to have your own business, but rather than doing your business, you're handling somebody else's business. You know what I'm saying? Because you're hiding your reason. You know what I'm saying? You don't think that you're special. You don't think that you're unique. 
right? You don't think that, right? You just think that you're supposed to be doing what you're supposed to be, what you're doing right now. But the fact of the matter is, the fact of the matter is you're not following your reason. You're not, you're not living out your purpose. Once you start living out your purpose, life becomes clear for you. Life becomes easy for you. Opportunities come so that you can enjoy life in ways that you never thought. Like, I never thought that I would be able to travel around the country like I have. You know what I'm saying? And then I ran into Simba, right? And I ran into elders that invested in me, right? I never thought I would be able to learn the amount of stuff that I learned or read the books that I read. But, but because I pursued it, the opportunity came. I never thought I would be able to sit down and talk with some of the elders that I haven't had the pleasure of talking to that have made their transition. But because I'm on purpose, because I'm living on purpose and not on accident, right? Things fall right in my lap. You know what I'm saying? Some people call it love. Some people call it destiny. I just call it living on purpose. Because you live on purpose, the opportunities open themselves up for you. You know what I'm saying? The universe is trying to conspire to move you to greatness, right? And when you're not listening, what did the universe do? The universe disciplines your ass. You know what I'm saying? You know, get up. Get up and do your thing. You know what I'm saying? The reason I toast, right? Because I don't believe that people are really, really taking libation seriously. People are not really taking the power of our ancestors seriously, right? Another wasted resource, right? So I'm trying to put a reason. I'm trying to put purpose on it for you. So that when you do it, you realize why you do it. It's important to call on your ancestors. Why? Because they help. They're part of the reason. They help bring the things into your consciousness. Bring things before you so that you can move towards your greatness. That's what they do. They open the doors. You know what I'm saying? A lot of y'all like y'all want y'all want mystical experiences. When every day you have a mystical experience. You know what I'm saying? You're just not watching it. You're just not capable of seeing it. Why? Because you're not on purpose. When you start living on purpose, a new sight opens up in you. And you see stuff where other people can't see. It's sort of like it's sort of like a, a, a poet. A poet can look at a horrible situation and turn it into something beautiful through word. They go through a terrible experience and turn it into something powerful and beautiful and life-changing for other people that listen to them. Because they have purpose. When you have purpose, you are able to, to change water to wine. You know, so when you have purpose, you are able to feed the masses with, with uh, two loaves and two fish. When you have purpose, when you're moving on purpose, the opportunity opens up for you. The reason, the reason that you do things, the reason empowers and it strengthens you and moves you towards greatness. Yo, so I ain't gonna, I ain't gonna belabor the point. But what I'm saying is today is a day of purpose. Today is also a day of rhythm. And today is also a day of balance. Right? So we're gonna start covering some more of the, some of the other principles that line up with the Guza Saba challenge that lines up with the Guza Saba. But I want to thank you for tuning in. Make sure that you check out our show. Um, I stream it live on Tuesday. Folk tales for grown folks, where we go through the folk tales. We look for the reasons. We look for the reasons behind the folk tales, and we look for the reason behind on Wednesday nights the reason behind the proverbs. You know what I'm saying? We try to break them down and have those discussions. And I need you to help me, right? Because I only get one perspective. And a lot of times we get caught up in our own perspective and get lost. Sometimes I need y'all to come and help me, right? Let's build. Let's build. You know what I'm saying? We're living in a dynamic time. This is a time for new heroes, man. My, my question is, are you going to be one of the ones that our children are talking about? You know what I'm saying? Are you going to be one of the ones that our children are going to be pouring for? You know what I'm saying? Don't be one of You know what I'm saying? Don't be sitting on the sidelines when you're a superstar. Come on now. 
This is Brother Hatim. Peace. Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there. The fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you. Right there. And for those that want more information about Jeremy Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.